And in business, the World Bank has cautioned Ghana against excessive borrowing amidst concerns that the country risks being classified as high debt distressed country if the situation persists. This comes a day after the country successfully raised U.S. $3 billion euro bond, which was five times oversubscribed. The International Monetary Fund has also warned the nation that it is at a high risk of becoming a debt distressed country. According to the IMF, the debt sustainability analysis is mainly driven by debt service to revenue exceeding the threshold throughout the forecast horizon. Concerns have also been raised regarding the borrowing funds being used mainly for consumption rather than capital projections or investments. Speaking to the media after the curtsy call on the Speaker of Parliament, the country director of World Bank, Pierre Frank, said though every country will have to borrow, it must be cautious of a quantum of borrowing. And meanwhile, Russia is in support of a recommendation to deepen OPEC global oil supply curbs. This is to compensate for a drop in demand caused by the coronavirus, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on Thursday. A technical panel that advises the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its allies led by Russia proposed a provisional cut in output of 600,000 barrels per day. This is about 0.6% of global supply and would extend current curbs of 1.7 million barrels per day. Lavrov, however, said Russian President Vladimir Putin had recently spoken with the king of OPEC's de facto leader, Saudi Arabia, about the new virus, which has spread through China and beyond and sapped energy demand.